Hello everyone, my name is Dor Shahak and today I'm going to show you how Visual Web GUI integrates into Visual Studio 2010. Gizmox, the company behind Visual Web GUI, was established in July 2007 after Garage development of two years. Gizmox focuses on three major segments, web development, cloud development and legacy desktop migration to the web or cloud. A unique architecture at runtime provides complete decoupling between the application logic and the UI rendering, making it possible to virtualize the UI to practically any device. Visual Web GUI shines for highly interactive applications with large number of data transactions providing the most mature desktop development paradigm to web development and a unique pipeline which optimizes data-centric applications and makes them almost as responsive as desktop. Now I'm going to open a new project of type Visual Web GUI. I'm going to call it My Web GUI Application. Now once my project is open, notice I have a form here and I can edit the form in a form designer which is based on the Windows Forms Designer, which is always nice to have and it's so easy to use. Now let's drag some controls on the form. I'm going to drag a button and let's drag a daytime picker next I'm gonna drag an HTML box and I'm gonna dock it to the bottom so it will show the full width of the screen just gonna stretch it a little bit and I think I'm gonna drag a splitter as well just gonna find it here we go I'm gonna dock it to the bottom as well so I can stretch the HTML box at one time Let's change the splitter color, make it more noticeable. Let's make it red. Now I'm going to set the text of the button to say show date. Now let's go to the click handler of the button, just like in Windows Forms, by double clicking it. Here I added a small method which returns the name of the month according to its index, and I'm going to use it in a second. Now I'm going to create a string representation of the date from the daytime picker so I can use it in the HTML box URL. Now I'm going to set the URL property of the HTML box and I'm going to set it to the Wikipedia page of the date that was chosen in the daytime picker. Just going to insert my string here and I'm going to build my project. Now let's run the application. I'm going to choose my form, the start form, just like a start page in ASP.NET and I'm going to hit run. And I can see my form loading up in the browser. Thanks to the splitter I can drag my HTML box right to the top and once I click the button, I can see the Wikipedia page for December 17th, which is the date in the daytime picker. And of course I can change the date, click again, and I can see the page refreshing in the HTML box. And I can choose, say, November 20th. When I click the button, I can see the November 20th page, and of course I can scroll down. And let's choose something more cheerful. Say I'm going to choose July 4th. Click the button. Perfect. Now I'm going to switch back to my project and I'm going to open my project properties. Please notice that you have three extra tabs right here. In the general tab you can define different attributes such as authentication mode or private version or various switches that we have defined for you such as inline windows. In the registration tab you can register your forms, your controls, even your themes and you can choose your presentation layer in the deployment tab. I can also go to the tools menu and open options. I'm going to open Visual Web GUI options which means build options such as directory or controls validation or Silverlight packaging. Well folks this is it for today. Thank you very much from Visual Web GUI. Learn more on Visual Web GUI browsing to our website at www.visualwebgui.com from which you can also download a free trial of professional SDK for Visual Studio 2010 and the free open source SDK for Visual Studio Express editions.